What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm sorry if everything around me is a mess. I did have to set up on my own and I set up everything on my own because there's no one here to help unfortunately. So please forgive me. I needed to get a video out because we're getting a lot of new subscribers. Over the past four days we've done 11 subscribers. If you keep hearing a lot of things around, it's man's best friend. He's, he's very irritated today. I don't know what's wrong with him. So today we're going to talk about things you shouldn't do to your car. First thing we're going to talk about is fake body kits. And what I mean by fake body kits is if you have a BMW 3 Series and then you go out and buy an M3 kit and put it on it like we don't know. It doesn't even have to be a 3 Series. For example, if you have a Ford Mustang EcoBoost or a Ford Mustang V6 or even for this case a Ford Mustang GT and you go out and buy a GT500 body kit and you put it on there thinking that people are going to believe for a second that you drive a Ford Mustang GT500 you're wrong. I get it, the Ford Mustang GT500 looks really good, or the best performance model of the model you have is kind of a good thing to have. I mean, if you own any Ford Mustang, I'm pretty sure you look up to the Ford Mustang GT500, you know, obviously it being the most powerful Mustang out there. And same thing with BMWs and Mercedes, if you own like a C200, you look up to the C63, and so on and so forth. Don't be a tacky person and go out there and buy a fake body kit and put it on your car to make your car seem like something it is not, because most of the time, it looks fake and you can spot it from a thousand miles away. Where I live, it's a very, very popular thing to do. You see, it's not only body kits, it's also badging. You see a lot of guys with Ford Mustang EcoBoosts with the GT badge on the back and on the side of the car, the 5.0. It's something that doesn't irritate me, but I'm pretty sure some people just get really upset. The whole thing, in my opinion, is not annoying. If you go out and buy a fake body kit and fit it on your car, then it's just, it's your car. Okay, do whatever you want. But people are going to make fun of you. I personally would make fun of you too, because it's, it's a very funny thing to do. I don't know. You just, you're wasting money. Save the money and do something that's going to be good for the performance of your car because these body kits are not cheap. Obviously, depending on the quality and how good or bad they are compared to the real one, it's just a waste of money. Save your money and do something good for your car. And the second thing we're going to talk about is stickers. Now, there's different stages of stickers. You have the branded stickers like Michelin and all these things. People put them on the side of their cars. And then you have the broken hearts and sad boys. And finally, the naked anime girls. Now, I, I personally don't, mind if you have on your car like some branded stuff that don't really sponsor you that's completely up to you right that makes sense i mean everything is completely up to you but then you see those broken red hearts on the side of a nice car and then you just kind of think what's wrong with this guy like i mean it's okay to have your heart broken right it's okay it's okay but don't show the world don't let the world know speak to somebody and don't put stickers on the side of your car because studies have shown that broken heart stickers on the side of your car do not heal your heart Unfortunately, yes. I'm, I was never into anime. I've never watched anime. I don't even know what it's about. But I don't think a cartoon girl in a bikini on the side of my car is a good look. Like, I don't know. If I go out and put a girl in a bikini on the side of my car and I get home, I don't even know how my family's going to react to that. My friends. How are my friends going to react to that? How's my girlfriend going to react to that? How are people on the road going to react to that? So for those who keep this stuff inside of their car, it's much better than putting it outside your car as well. So thank you for keeping it to yourself. But at the same time, it's just... Your car doesn't look any better. Your car does not perform any better. And just overall, it's a dumb look. You can be a fan of anime, but you just can't have naked stickers on the side of your car. Please don't do that. It's my car. It's my money. I just don't do that. Don't put these stickers on the side of your car, please, because it makes your car look stupid. And the third thing we're going to talk about is engine mods from Wish. Now, I don't know why people go out. Open Wish. I don't know if you know Wish or not, but Wish is something like the cheap eBay or the cheap Amazon. It's very similar to AliExpress. You know, I hear a lot of people go out and buy, oh, we're going to get a turbo from Wish. I mean, if you're doing it for experimental reasons, that makes sense, all right? You're trying to educate others. But if you're going out to spend your hard-earned money or your dad's hard-earned money or your mom's hard-earned money on a 300, 400 turbo kit from Wish, you're really wasting money. Save that money and do something that's useful that's going to keep your car running for a longer time. All these components that keep your car running, don't go on a cheap website and buy it. In my opinion, the first best thing to do is buy OEM parts. For example, if something broke in your car and you need to change it, the first thing I would do is just go out and buy it from the dealership. But if you don't really care or you're planning on replacing it with something after market, then go ahead and do that. But just for you to go out and buy something so cheap, just because it's cheap, it's wrong. And the fourth thing we're going to talk about is underglow. Underglow is not as bad as some of the other things we talked about, but I don't know. I feel like it's very out of date and it's just out of fashion, and yet people still do it. This is something that if I see I don't really think much of but sometimes I see videos of ricey boys on TikTok and I just see underglows on Honda Civics and Honda Accords it just doesn't work some cars it works some cars it doesn't like I saw a Nissan 370z with underglows and it looked it looked all right I'm not gonna say it looked good but it looked all right I just feel like it's a lot of work to connect the underglows and get them to your battery and get them blah 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 and all these things it's just it's a waste of time for a tacky looking thing and I'm gonna say this again 
Some cars will look good with it, some cars won't. Underglows is one of the things you grew up seeing, but then now as you get older and the, and the car community keeps evolving and getting better and just kind of moving forward, it's just one of those things that you just want to leave behind and move forward without. And the fifth thing we're going to talk about is used stuff. Now, I know that some people want things that they can't have new, but they can have barely used or used in general, which isn't a bad thing. For example, I bought this wheel behind me right here used it was used all right and brand new this thing cost 800 i got it for 700 i'd save myself 100 on something that's used was it really worth saving 100 no no but i just i just thought i'm a smart ass and if i were to save 100 i'd be a winner but used stuff is used stuff you don't know what i don't know what the person before me did with this thing all right now obviously we're all gonna buy used cars it makes sense. We don't know what the person before us did, but with cars, you can kind of just look and tell if the paint is in bad condition. You can tell if the engine sounds good or not, if the car drives fine or not. But certain things you can't find out until it's too late. So try as much as you can to avoid used stuff. Avoid used cold air intake. Avoid used turbos. Just avoid used things in general as much as you can. Anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to come out with a quick video. We're looking for cars. We're looking for things to do, and we're trying to find something. You know, if the subscribers keep rolling in the same way, they are right now things will be good soon and then we'll hopefully be able to talk to people more about getting us cars or getting us things for more videos i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next video